Last year's controversial firing of former police chief Jeffrey Blackwell is roiling the city's political waters once again. Today's news of a $255,000 settlement from four months ago caught lawmakers unaware. It comes on the heels of Blackwell's family asserting his firing was racially motivated. I don't know how you can say it's a race-based firing when they turned around and they hired a new African-American police chief. Local Democratic Party Chairman Tim Burke is braced for potentially a divisive new year. Council member Yvette Simpson is challenging Mayor John Cranley in May's primary. Outgoing UC trustee Rob Richardson Jr. will announce he's doing that too next week. His father, head of the NAACP, will join various black organizations and leaders at a news conference Thursday. Councilman Wendell Young assembled it, saying Chief Blackwell was fired unjustly and Mayor John Cranley was the principal leader of his termination. Among those who will stand with him, former Mayor Dwight Tillery, who was instrumental in Cranley's election. Obviously, things have changed significantly in the rela relationship between Dwight Tillery and Mayor Cranley. Cranley's emails to Chicago's mayor about strategy to fire a chief who is African-American has hit nerve endings here. In a statement today, Cranley's office told us though the mayor's language in these private emails was clumsy, he stands by their fundamental substance. The black community like back well. Callers to Lincoln Ware's radio show are raising Cranley questions. He's in a real pickle now because he said, I had nothing to do with the firing of the chief, it was a city manager, and now we're finding out something totally different. It is very concerning that this race not become just about race. Tim Burke also saying tonight we're coming off an extremely divisive national presidential campaign and that he'd hate to see the same kind of animosity here at the city level. Live tonight at City Hall, John London, WWT News 5.